Hey everybody, I'm uh, back for day four of my 30 day song challenge and uh, looks like I'm on a lucky streak that's when, if I thought I was lucky yesterday, man and now am I in luck today. Um, the randomly picked album of today is my, well I already more it, this is Opeth Still Life. Um, and this is my favorite album of all times. Um, this was released in 1999 on uh, Peaceful Records. And um, I think this is um, the perfect, or um, I think this is one of the most perfect albums ever made. Um, uh, Opeth is an, uh, a Swedish um, progressive melodic death metal band, although that really varies on, on um, which album you listen to, because their latest album is all, um, you know, their, their last album, Heritage, was all progressive, 70s progressive rock, and um, you know, they really have the tendency to. Um, uh, or at least their frontman does a few writes most of the music. Um, they really have the tendency to, to change styles on each album, and that's really fantastic because no album of theirs is the same. Um, so, yeah, like I said, this is my one of my favorite albums of all time. Uh, a really good example of a, of a perfect album. And. Um, yeah, it's, it's really fantastic. Uh, like I said, it released in 1999 on Visual Records. Um, this is a concept album, um, which uh, tells the story of an unnamed protagonist um, called uh, the Outcast, who uh, lived in a um, uh, religious society and who was uh, banished from that society for having different um, opinions or thoughts about um, the religion um, and this tells the story of him returning 15 years later uh, to that village uh, for his uh, his love basically Melinda um, and uh, in the story he goes to um, despite knowing all the dangers there is because if he's found he will be killed. Um, he goes to find Melinda um, to try and convince her to join him uh, in leaving that society. Um, he finds Melinda and um, um, is uh, they are spotted by um, the I believe they call the Knights Council. No, the Council of the Cross. And um, they basically um, uh, kill Melinda, they slit her throat uh, in a rage uh, fueled frenzy. Um, uh, the outcast tries to um, kill as many soldiers as possible, but gets caught by the Council of the Cross in the end and um, is being hung. And on uh, the the last part of the story is basically him, um, the hangman tying his noose and feels a hand on his shoulder. He looks around and sees Melinda uh, waiting for him to join uh, her in, in death, basically, so they can, can finally be together. Um, really fantastic film, a perfect mix of um, clean, progressive, melodic. Um, music with death metal in, uh, in between and uh, um, yeah really fantastic uh, this is this record is also very special to me this is the first final record I um, I ever got and I got it because of um, a um, well I actually had a um, along with someone else I had a, um, a website a message board um, about OPEC, and I managed to get, arrange an interview with um, their current, their uh, guitarist at the time, Peter Lindgren, and I got this so he could sign this for me. And as you can 
to you out there. So that's really special. He's not in the band anymore, so that makes it all more special to me. Um, and yeah, to this day, this this really, I can listen to this album all the time, and it never, never, um, never bores me. Um, I thought it would be cool to uh, also show um, the other versions of this album I have. I actually have two. This is my first CD copy. Um, this is basically a digipad. Nothing really special about that. And, uh, and, yeah, this, this is basically just a CD version. And, uh, then in 2007, I believe. 2008, sorry. Um, they re released it with a new artwork. Uh, artwork almost always done by Travis Smith, who really does a fantastic job. Um, you know, this is the original artwork, and um, this is the new revisited artwork. Let's see if you can spot any differences. Uh, so, the special edition is a uh, a combination of a, um, a CD and a DVD. And hang on, we need to switch sides on the record. Sorry. Uh, like I said, um, the second disc is a uh, DVD with a 5.1 surround sound mix of the um, basically remastered uh, LP and a live video. Also uh, so yeah, like I said, fantastic album. Um, if you're into either progressive uh, music, um, rock music, metal music, death metal, um, I really recommend this picking up. I really recommend picking this up. Um, this is. I will, in my opinion, this is a must have. Uh, I can't really uh, name a favorite song or favorite songs because you really need to listen to this um, as a complete package. You know, it, it tells the story and um, it, um, it works so well when you listen to it in, in the right order and. Um, yeah, really fantastic. Um, if I had to rate this album, I'd have to say it's a 9.9 .9 out of 10. You know, I, I hardly ever give a 10 out of 10 to, to anything because you know, there's always room for improvement, <laughs> basically. It's not really a negative thought, but you know, that's, ju that's just how I feel about those things. Um, so, yeah, 9.9 .9 out of 10. Um, so, yeah, that's basically all I have to say. I'm seeing Opeth in concert actually, uh, November 15th, here in the Netherlands, in Tilburg, um, on their uh, current uh, tour for their latest album, Heritage. I uh, really can't wait, it's going to be the third time I'm uh, seeing them live and I've always been blown away uh, by them and this tour is supposed to be something special because apparently they only play um, The softer songs, considering uh, that Heritage is also a um, non dead metal album, basically. So, yeah, really curious to see that. Um, Pain of Salvation is their support, which is also a really great um, progressive metal band, basically. And, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about this. Um, I want to thank you for watching again, and um, I'll be back tomorrow for day five. So, uh, thank you for watching.